Now you stand up. <laughs> Come on. I do. We have a villa in the canyon. Herman will be there as well. Ooh, Herman. Yeah. yeah. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Today I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you guys. So recently I just started watching Irma Web and I'm very excited to share this, you know, this TV show with you guys. But before we get into this, you know, the video, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who likes, who comments, who shares and who subscribes to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support you guys been showing me. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. So if you want to know the full details regarding Irma Web, I would definitely recommend you to go watch it on hbo max it will is actually scheduled to have eight episodes so you know i'm gonna be doing a, fin a, a finale regarding it but right now i'm just gonna be talking a little bit of what happened from episode one to five i'm really excited to share it because mira and laurie and her ex-boyfriend and you know her assistant everything that has been happening with mira is very different and i also like the way the cultures are mixing mixing you know the french culture and the and you know the states how everything is called you know just coming together to create this beautiful project i really really liked it so i'm really excited to share it with you guys it's a very different from other tv shows that i've seen that has a lesbian couple or that has a lesbian relationship you know in development but this one is a little bit different because it's a little bit toxic it's a little bit you know very very different so that's why i want to get into it and talk a little bit about it and what happened to mira regarding you know during her her career and on all of that you know so let's not waste any more time guys and let's get right into this video and i hope you all enjoy it and let's go Fine, I I should be going actually. P and premiere date. And Herman thought that you'd like to celebrate together. We need to catch up. We do. I They're waiting for you on set. Do you want me back? Genuinely do, but... Um... Nothing, forget it. Wow. Yeah, I... Mira is an American movie star wanting a change in her career and recent breakup who goes to France to start as Irma Webb in a remake of her French silent film Les Vampires, in this case The Vampires. Laurie played a big role in Mira's life. Laurie was, you know, Mira's assistant who she actually fell deeply, deeply in love with. Laurie ended her relationship with Mira when she decided to get married with a director that Mira introduced her to while working on a project with him. So that actually caught, you know, uh, Mira off guard because she wasn't expecting it out of nowhere. Mira had no clue that something was going on between Laurie and the director. Laurie had problems with her relationship she shared with Mira and she actually told Mira that she wasn't an easy person to be with and she can be very intimidating at very points of their of their relationship they had an open relationship so they weren't very exclusive with, with, with one another but they were deeply deeply in love with one another mira don't think that laurie husband is a person it's her person and that she she lacks of empathy throws her relationship with mira because the way she ended the relationship like this she ended her their relationship and it just went and got married with the director who's a very successful man so she you know she knew how to play her cards laurie had a lot of control over mira she knew exactly what to say and do to have mira you know on the palm of her hands she was very dominant and possessive over mira she liked mira to feel like she she you know laurie was in control of the whole relationship so you know mira was uh was very submissive and laurie was very dominant through the relationship she, she had all the control and all the power over it laura knew how to play her cards in order to get what she wants uh of what she wants in life 
you know and one of the ways that she got to where she wanted to be in life is actually by Mira's help by, by getting involved with Mira being her assistant and being her lover and being her the first girl that she, Mira actually was with even though Mira was being emotionally manipulated by her they had a very toxic relationship but they also had a lot of love for one another Zoe enters in the pictures and starts being like a supportive system for Mira during her stay at French for the filming more or less like an assistant helper kind of person you know mira um as, as time went by this they, they spend more time together mira start you know feeling a type of way regarding zoe but nothing happened between them two because mira wasn't ready to be with someone because of what what is ha currently happening with her career and the changes that's going on in her life not only in her career but also her personal life life you know with her ex-boyfriend and everything that happened and then everything that happened with Lori while they were in friends so there was a lot of confusion going on and she didn't want to you know pursue anything what nobody knew mira also reconnected with her ex-boyfriend and shared a moment together but she kind of regretted it because she, you know, she feels like uh, she had a moment of weakness and that she didn't want to hurt this guy that loved her so much again, even though, you know, Mira ended the relationship with, with her ex-boyfriend because of Laurie and then they ended up breaking up and now they had a small reconnect you know with one another and they had shared the moment together and she started crying after that because she knew that she have a lot of love for this guy but she's not in love with him so she had a kind of a moment of weakness of breakdown but then she but then as time went by she actually overcame it and that's when she actually got her full closure regarding the situation with her ex-boyfriend mira decided to you know to go back to the states because she felt like French isn't her place and that she needs to go back to where she started. Even though it's difficult for her to be in the States because of her personal life, it's difficult for her to maintain control because she knows once she's back in the state, she's going to be seeing Laurie more and they're going to be a lot of in the same events and, and it's very difficult to control that situation when it comes to her because Laurie has so much, so much control over her emotionally and it's very difficult for her, you know, to say no. So hopefully in season two, that will be developed more so we can understand more and hopefully you know Mira can change the cards around and she can you know be more in control because there was actually a moment where Laurie came up to the press and told them that Mira was the aggressive one in the in the relationship and you know she she played her too much and she was a dominant one in control while it was actually the verse that the other side of the card where Laurie was actually the one who was possessive, who was aggressive, who was in control, who wanted power, who wanted control over the relationship. So when Mira saw that, you know, in the in in the press, it really hurt her emotionally because that is not actually what been happening. That's what everybody around them know that that's not the truth. But you know, but Mira just she just let it be. It is what it is, and she's just moving on with her career and filming in my web. You know, I'm excited for season two. I definitely, I really, really do think we're gonna see a lot, lot more from Mira and Laurie in season two because I feel like there's a lot of unfinished business between them and they still and I really feel like Mira needs to to teach Laurie a lesson and just make her stop playing with her so much because Laurie plays a very very big paper in Mira's life so yes guys that's basically what's happening currently I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated in the upcoming episodes please don't forget to like comment share subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for all the love and all the support you guys been showing me and I hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye